Hi everyone. I think I must be on here. Actually, it looks like I am because I see some of you guys. <laughs> well, I'm glad to have you here. This is my first official scope. I tried it a little bit. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Karina. How are you doing it? I tried this uh, a little bit ago in Yellowstone when we were camping. I just uh, did a little periscope on Old Faithful Inn. But this is the first one we're actually in front of the camera talking and it's a little scary. And because it's scary, I thought I'd do my first periscope on doing scary goals. In fact, I can't remember what I called. What was it? Seven lies you believe when, uh, oh, thanks you guys. That's nice. Seven lies that we believe when we're going to do a scary goal. So I'm sure uh, some of you guys have done scary goals, right? How many people have tried a goal that you didn't think you could do or that you were really scared to do? Can you just say yes in there if you did it? <laughs> Yes, Melanie has, Karina. Okay, yes. That's right. So we don't always feel like we can do goals when we first start. And a lot of times it's scary, right? Like I'm really scared today getting on here and doing Periscope. So let's look at these lies. I'm not sure if I'll be able to concentrate on comments um, while I'm going through this, but we'll just kind of see how it goes. I'm just doing this as a test here. So the first lie is I can't do this. And the truth is, we can't do it easily, right? We can't do it perfectly, but we can do it, right? I can get on here, I can turn on the camera, and I can do a periscope. And whatever goals you guys are working on, you can do them. You just can't do them perfectly, and we shouldn't expect to do them perfectly. Okay, the second lie we believe is, I will be a complete and miserable failure. Have you guys ever believed that? Okay, I believe that all the time. I guess I'm not an optimist. And first of all, this is a lie because we can't see into the future, right? We're not God, so we don't know if we're really going to be a complete and miserable failure. But the other truth is we should really kind of expect to fail if we're doing a hard goal. Like, say, if I was going to make a goal of having peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for supper, I would be saying, hey, I'm going to complete that goal, right? Because it's not that hard to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But if you guys are working on a hard goal... Or if you're working on a goal where you've already failed before at it in the past, you're probably going to be thinking, I'm going to fail. And this is a lie because God can help us do anything. And um, we have to kind of expect failure. Like if you look at all those world-class figure skaters, you know, you see them do all their big jumps. You just know that when they first start out skating, they couldn't do those jumps, right? They failed over and over and over again before they finally succeeded at them. So uh, expect to fail on your way, but don't let that stop you. Okay, third one is it's too scary. Okay, it's true that it's scary, right? But it's not too scary. I stopped setting goals because of failures. Yep, that is sometimes if we fail too often, it's like we don't even want to try anymore. Okay, but we can do scary things. So the fourth lie is I need to do some more research before I start. Have you ever had a goal and you spent so much time uh, trying to figure out how to do it that uh, you just didn't ever push the go button? I mean, that's what I did with Periscope for the last few weeks. I've been looking at it, thinking that's fun. And finally, I just had to tell a few people that I was going to do it today at 1215. Otherwise, I don't think I ever would have done it. So there comes a time when we just have to say, okay, forget the preparation. Let's just step in and do it. Okay, the fifth goal we believe is that people will think we're losers, right? Okay, and this is what I've found from um, being a writer and being on the internet. You can't do hard things. You can't do anything in leadership without having people condemn you. So I think that's going to have to be, I mean, you kind of have to expect that. Same thing if you're doing something like losing weight. You know, it's scary to tell everybody you're going to do it because what if you fail and they might think you're a loser. But, you know, that's just life, guys. Sometimes we're going to have people um, condemning us. We're going to have people judging us. And it's just one of the things we have to accept as part of the human condition to live is to have the potential to be judged. So we just need to do whatever it is um, we're trying to do without worrying about that. That's right. That's a good point, Melanie. They condemn Jesus, too. Okay, the sixth one is, I don't know if I'll succeed, so should I really put in all that effort? Okay, here's the thing, guys. We can't guarantee success. Um, we're really not in control of our lives. Uh, so 
we have to put in the effort. We have to do whatever it is we feel like God is calling to do or we're feeling like we want to do. And uh, just leave the results up to God, right? I should be willing to put my foot out. I should be willing to fail. I should be willing to be condemned. I should be willing to have everybody think I'm a loser um, and just put out the effort. And, you know, when you think of Jesus, he was also condemned, right? Okay, and the last one is I'll do it later, right? How many times do you have a goal and um, you say, I'll do it later? But the truth is, guys, we can keep saying, I'll do it later until we're blue in the face. Sometimes we just need to start, right? So that's all I had. That went pretty quick, right? I can't remember what time I started. Oh, I started at 12.15, so that was only five minutes. So that's good. Uh, so does anybody, if you guys have any, do you want to share any other lies that you believe? Or do you have any questions? You're working on a hard goal right now. You can type in your questions over there. If, I don't know how many of you guys are new to Periscope. I just discovered it a few weeks ago. Melanie told about it. Uh, I feel guilty for trying. Okay, so that's an interesting one. You feel guilty for trying? Oh, like I shouldn't be trying to succeed. Okay, that's interesting. Um, or that dot, okay. I'll see if I can do it. So I feel guilty that I shouldn't be trying to succeed. I would think God does want us to try and succeed. Um, I mean, I don't think he wants it to be an idol or to become too important. We have to hold the goals with open hands. But I can't can't see why he'd think it'd be wrong. You know, unless we're trying to choose a goal. Like, say, if my goal was to go out and find some other married man so that I could leave my husband have an affair with them. <laughs> well, yeah, then God wouldn't be happy about that goal. Um, okay. It's wrapped up in fear of rejection. Yeah. For me, it's totally wrapped up in fear of rejection. I've had that since I was a kid and that's been the hardest thing about being a writer. What should be my first goal be? I mean, I think our first goal should be love God with all of our hearts and mind, soul, and strength, and then love our neighbors as ourselves. But you know, there's a million ways to do that. Well, somebody also asked, um, said they felt bad or is it okay to do physical goals and I think it's also okay to do physical goals like to lose weight or something you know as long as we're not trying to lose weight so that everybody thinks we're really great or so that we'll be acceptable or because we oh I can't what other reason would it be you know I think our tendency no matter what our goal is even if it starts with pure motives is to want to put ourselves on a pedestal right we tend to Turn, turn the goal into something maybe God doesn't want. But I don't think that's a necessarily a means to give up on the goal. It's just that we have to work to purify our hearts while we're pursuing the goal. Does that make sense? I mean, there are some goals where you can give it up, but not all goals. Sometimes God wants us to stay in the situation, pursue the goal. Yeah, I want to be skinny so everyone will like me. I think everybody who's been on here, we felt that way before, right? Um. Oh, you know, one other thing I was going to put on here is when you're working on the goal, we tend to compare ourselves to people we know who are really super duper good at the goal. And then we feel like terrible losers. And we can't do that because uh, like so if we're trying to lose weight, we might compare ourselves to somebody who's never struggled with weight a day in their life. Or if I'm going to do Periscope, I might compare myself to somebody who's an expert at it, who's been doing it a long time, who has a million followers. So that doesn't help us, right? So anyway, that's about all I have. I'm going to try and keep doing more of these. I think starting next week, Tuesday, I'm going to do one on weight loss Tuesday night at, I think it was 6.30. Was that right, Krina? Krina? Um, 6.30, uh, mountain time. I'm in mountain time. And then uh, I'm going to try and do them every day, Monday through Friday for a while, just until I get... So it's just like second nature and it's not scary. Anyway, thanks so much for being on here, guys. I appreciate it. Hi, how are you doing? Jumping on the last minute. I'll talk to you guys uh, later. Yeah, wanting people to like me. I think that's a lot of one we, a lot of us deal with. Okay, so hopefully I can figure out how to turn it off. Oh, I think you just swipe up, right? Okay, so if it works, guys, we'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. 
Uh-oh, that didn't work. Oh, uh, swipe down to stop. Okay. 